Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Eddie Hearn has been talking about a trilogy fight for Katie Taylor against Amanda Serrano. Uh, Taylor won the first two with close decisions. Um, and the venue that Hearn is looking at is none other than Dublin's Croke Park. Now, um, it's been rumoured before that Katie would fight at Croke Park, but apparently, from what I gather, the uh, cost of renting the place is astronomical. And Hearn, Hearn in the past couldn't crunch the numbers, which is why when Katie did her homecoming uh, against, um, I think both the fights against Chantel Cameron were in Ireland, but neither was at Croke Park. Now, what has changed the situation? Well, Hearn is very uh, transparent about the the fact that on Netflix, with 74 million global viewers watching that fight on the undercard of the Tyson um, Jake Paul thing. I'm talking about the rematch between Katie and Amanda. 74 million people, 74, yeah, 74 million people watched it worldwide. And that kind of puts it into the bracket that we're talking about the trilogy fight now of being what Hearn thinks could be not just one of the biggest female fights of all time, but one of the biggest fights of all time. Now, that's quite an audacious statement in itself. Because as great as those two fights were between Katie and Amanda, one of the great, one of the biggest fights ever. Okay, okay. Well, don't let's not forget that Katie's won the first two. I mean, you could disagree with the decisions all you like, but in the record books, it says she's two 0 up. But of course, Amanda desperately wants a third, you know, by the cherry, and um, Katie would probably agree to that, no problem. Um, <clears throat> So the idea that the numbers will crunch and they could pay the Croke Park, whatever it is, to rent the place. Um, okay, you know, that, that's possible. Um, don't, let's not forget, though, that um, Amanda Serrano is 38 years of age and Katie herself is, is uh, she the same age or is she a little bit younger, 37 maybe? Um, both these ladies are knocking on a bit. But that doesn't really matter because when you consider that one of the greatest heavyweight fights of all time, if not possibly the greatest heavyweight fight of all time, was the third Ali versus Frazier fight. Um, and Ali had, you know, lost to Frazier the first time. Um, he lost to Ken Norton. Frazier had been knocked out in two rounds by Ken by um, uh, George Foreman. So they were both considered past their best, and yet they produced an incredible fight, one for the ages. It is perfectly feasible that Amanda and Katie could do exactly the same thing. Um, you know, one of the other reasons that, um, this was in 2023, um, the Gaelic, Gaelic Athletic Commission did say that Matchroom also refused to cover security costs, and that was part of the stumbling block with um the Taylor fight against Chantel Cameron being staged at Croke Park. I'm going to assume that Hearn is now prepared to do that. He must be seeing, you know, f financial figures with extra zeros on the end. And to be honest with you, when you consider that, you know, that, that enormous um, event, which was Paul versus Tyson, I mean, we, whatever you think about it, it was junk, but, you know, it did the figures. And what was the chief support? Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano. Yeah, it, to put that as a standalone fight, you know, Croke Park has a, a capacity of 82,000. So I can see it being a sellout, yeah. Katie Taylor is a national hero, heroine. The Irish fans, not just the Irish fans, but everyone knows Serrano now. They know that they're going to get entertainment because whenever you put these two ladies together, they don't, don't they just entertain? It's quite extraordinary, really. I mean... The, both the first fights were were incredible. I mean, whenever you get trilogies, <clears throat> you can normally get one fight where you think, okay, that that was that was okay, but it wasn't that great. Like, for example, the second Ali versus Frazier fight. Um, but with these two, you could probably put them together ten times. You're going to get a good dust up. You know, some will be better than others. But so yeah, I, I think this is a this is a realistic proposition. I think Hearn is, and Hearn can, you know, he likes to pride himself in being able to sell ice to the Eskimos. So I can see it him definitely, you know, getting the old promotional propaganda wagon trundling along and, um, you know, highlighting how great the first two fights were, getting the casuals involved. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I see this as being a distinct possibility. When would the fight take place if if it was, well, if it was at Croke Park and it was Serrano Taylor? It would probably be uh, May, May next year, maybe summer next year, something like that. Um, of course, nothing's been finalised yet, but we will see. One other thing that's worth mentioning is that Katie um, does have, because she holds both the, the, the titles at 135 and 140, she has some mandatory she's got to consider. Caroline Dubois is a mandatory at lightweight, and Chantel Cameron is um, a mandatory at 140. Now, Hearn also said, well, Cameron, the Cameron trilogy fight, because they're one each at the moment, is something that also Katie Taylor wants. Um, Dubois, at lightweight, I can see Katie saying, I've got bigger fish to fry and giving up the belt. Um, probably, in, and of course, the, you don't really need any belts at, for Taylor versus Serrano, although I think uh, Katie will stay at 140 and hold on to all those belts and hopefully that that trilogy fight will be for the undisputed title again. Um, but I don't think she's that fussed about lightweight belts now, so she'll probably give the Dubois fight a miss, concentrate on 140. Um, and then if she does beat Serrano a third time, um, take on Cameron as a mandatory. No doubt the mandatory, if it if it's if it's ordered before any proposed third fight with Serrano, um, I mean they'll probably pay a step aside money or swing something, get something you know, some sort of agreement. These things can be navigated around um, if everyone is uh, compensated, should we say, financially. So that's what's happening in the world of Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. We hope, we think. Um, what do you think? It, maybe you don't think a third fight is necessary because Katie won the first two, or maybe you do. Maybe you think Amanda won one or both of the the two so-called defeats, or maybe you think Chantel Cameron deserves a third fight before Amanda because so, they are one each, her and Katie. So let me know what you think. Comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you could do that, that would be great. I always appreciate your time and your support, and please um, hit the like button as well if you don't mind. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and bye for now.